Hi there, my name's Adam. I'm head of the mission analysis team here at Space IL. And our team is in charge of doing the trajectory design and navigation from the Earth orbit to the point where we uh, enter with the Moon. So today I'm going to show you a little bit of information about the orbits that we've designed and how much fuel that we use up at each different stage of the mission. So the first stage of the mission is that the launcher launches us and the primary payload into a low Earth orbit, which you can see here at a low altitude around the Earth. Now then the primary payload is released from the launcher and it's just us left in the launcher which then provides us with this very large boost of about three kilometers per second. We then spend the majority of this orbit correcting the launcher errors that it gave us and this takes about four percent of the total fuel budget. Once the spacecraft gets back around the Earth we change this orbit, we change the height of it so that we can intersect the moon when we arrive at this location here. So to do that and to carry out correction maneuvers along the way that takes another 8% of our fuel budget. Once we arrive at the moon, we have to perform a maneuver to capture with it in its gravitational field, and then a few more maneuvers to get into an orbit around it. This takes the vast majority of our fuel, about 85% of the total budget. Once we get to the desired height of 15 kilometers above the moon's surface, this is when the landing begins. Now the landing process actually takes 60% more fuel than all of the previous maneuvers combined. So that was an explanation of our trajectory and how we get to the moon. I hope you enjoyed it and please tune in to our next video.